question that focuses on planning, prevention, and as a necessary ingredient. Hang in there. Time. Hang in there. We're going to say thank you to David Williams from Citizens Against Government Waste. Appreciate your time. You. Now let's bring in from the House Working Group on Waste, Fraud, and Abuse, Representative Trent Franks from Arizona. Representative, thanks for joining us. You may or may not have been listening to that discussion. Let's stay on the money trail here, sir. I, I noted that $1.3 billion has been handed over to Planned Parenthood with 31 requests from Congress people and senators, uh, you know, the groups like yourself. Um, no answers. Is this a pro Should they be unfunded? Well, absolutely they should be unfunded. I mean, I, I know it's no secret in the interest of full disclosure here that I find uh, Planned Parenthood, an organization that supports abortion on demand and for, for even for birth control purposes, a testable organization. I have to be honest with you about that, but this is really an issue of corruption. Uh, this organization is really looks like, in terms of financial corruption, far beyond what even Acorn did. Uh, the five million that they found, the 5.2 million that they found in in uh, overbilling at the one clinic, if you multiply that, or even consider that there's 860 clinics that Planned Parenthood runs across this nation, you have a level of corruption that is staggering. And I really think that there's a good possibility that this kind of corruption is taking place nationwide. And, and I don't expect, you know, Kath, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, the Department of Health Services, to look at him. Mean, she's an abortion apologist. But I would expect that the Justice Department would take a look at this because this is something, again, that is a level of corruption that is absolutely it, staggering. Let's stay on the money here. Um, is it concerning to you? I, I'll, be, I'll be bring it right out here. It's concerning to me that a group that's getting $350 million a year has such a powerful political wing to it. It feels like more like an activist group than it is a, a, a family planning service. Not unlike AARP, feels to me more like an activist group than it is uh, set up to help uh, people, retired persons. Well, I, I, believe, I believe you're absolutely right. I mean, like ACORN, uh, the, the organizations that do some of these things that a lot of Americans are concerned about also are strong supporters of the left. Barack Obama uh, has supported Planned Parenthood to an incredible degree, and I don't think that it's only because he is so pro-abortion. I think that's a big part of it. But he knows that Planned Parenthood is going to pour millions of dollars into the campaigns and that they're going to support uh, 10 to 1 Democrats okay. and the left over Republicans. Hang so, in there, yes, it is, it is a political organization. Hang Look at the origins of the organization. Hang in there. I'm going to bring in the, left, uh, the guys on the left. Go ahead, Joe. You want to jump in here? But, I, but I he, the here. congressman's right. Well, there's, a lot, there's a very cozy relationship between Democrats, the liberal left, and, and, and Planned Parenthood right. and, and the, you know, the Arabs, they're, they're really political activists. You know what, that, that may potentially be. However, <laughs> I heard the congressman disagree on ideological grounds. And what I'd like to know, quite frankly, Eric, if, if he's in Congress, does he not have an obligation if they're not turning over, having Congress responded 31 times to make inquiries? What inquiries has that congressman made since... Planned Parenthood is such an abhorrent organization to find the money, to get at the money, and if they're not responding, to take efforts to see that they do. Well, Congressman, what about it? If they, if well, they we, were one, we were one of the first ones to call for We were one of the first ones here so many months ago to call for investigations into the very thing that we're talking about today. Well, and uh, we've been very consistent about that, and we have the, the press releases and the, and the written material to prove that. Well, congressional hearings held? Were well, committee okay, meetings uh, let's keep it here. place? Well, well you know, you, you, you remember that this happened under Nancy. Under Nancy Pelosi, so of course congressional Of course it happened under Democrat. Guys, keep, keep it to the money, please. Let's I, keep it on But the I don't think it has anything to do with the money. This isn't about corruption. It's all about abortion. Here's how you know. 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 I don't want to talk about abortion, Mark. Forget it. Goodbye. Halliburton over it. Stop. Nobody cares. Stop. Let's talk about this on the money trail. Let's These guys are pretending like there's no sort of unholy alliance between the Democrat Party and Planned Parenthood. Of course there is. You uh, cited, Mark, Shannon Breen's report on her online report at foxnews.com. She writes that Planned Parenthood lobbyists intervened to stop other audits at other Planned Parenthood clinics in California that were trying to go after this type of waste and corruption. And yet, oh, all of a sudden, the Democrat-controlled legislature in California says, okay, the, the audits just magically go away once these lobbyists intervene on behalf of Planned Parenthood. Is that a... Is Planned that a Parenthood charged the state less than a private organization would, and you're raising all kinds of things. Halliburton no, overcharges no, 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 so, so millions of dollars, so and no Republican so, cares. So, so That's so, so how you know it's about Planned abortion, Parenthood, not corruption. Planned Parenthood should be able to make a profit off the government. You know what? Off private great, companies well, make all, profits off all, Medicare. All, all these people out here who are paying their taxes, Planned Parenthood in California should be able to make a profit off of these people. Pfizer makes a 
profit. No, Kaiser Mark, makes a profit. Not, they're, Medicare they're providers make a profit. Medicaid to makes a profit. And Halliburton, you know, makes a profit. Mark, why you, you're like absolutely ruining this argument. This is a very, very smart money argument, and you're bringing things that absolutely have no My sense. point is, so, people care because it's abortion. That's why they care. Is there a concern that a group getting $350 million per year of taxpayer money has become such a politically charged group? Well, there should be, and the fact the fact remains that let's let's do keep this on the financial uh, topic completely, Eric. Why don't we all agree, all of the other groups there that are, are part of this debate? Why don't we agree that we'll look into this and see what Planned Parenthood is doing with the money that comes from taxpayers' pockets most of the time against their will, and let's see really what is happening with the money, and let's see whether we should continue to fund an organization that is overbilling and is involved in a corruption level that should stagger all of us. Let's all right. just no, get together well, no, on that subject gotta, alone. We're going to have to leave it there. We're going to say thank you to Congressman <laughs> Franks. Thank you for joining us on Last Minute Notice. Thank right, you, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, we have much more coming. We're right up. There is a magic.